most of our children have a normal course of development in terms of language acquisition, in terms of speaking, in terms of interacting with their friends, family and peers. They cuddle, they smile, they're laughing and they're constantly playing with others. But this group of children, if you see a separate group of children, they do not socialize, they do not play, they isolate themselves and they have a repetitive routine pattern. They have to do certain things at a particular time, in a particular way. They have odd, peculiar behaviors. They have total lack of social emotional bond with others and problems with communication. These are the children with autism. The most obvious signs of autism emerge between the months of 12 and 18 and you will be able to identify it. For most children, they have a normal course of development and then they slowly begin to start losing skills and then they develop autism. Some early signs that you can watch out for are the child doesn't make eye contact. For example, look at you while being fed. Does not smile when smiled at. Doesn't respond to his or her name or the sound of a familiar voice. Does not use gestures to communicate. Does not make noises to get your attention. Does not initiate or respond to cuddling. Does not reach out to be picked up. Does not play with others or does not ask for help or make basic requests. As parents, we're constantly on the lookout for signs of abnormal development like autism and we, we might jump to wrong conclusions. However, if you see some of these signs present in your child, address the concern with a pediatrician or a child psychologist. Early years of development are very crucial for children with autism, so get early intervention as soon as possible. Children with autism fall on a spectrum. So when I say this spectrum, there are various levels of functionality in terms of communication, in terms of interacting with others, in terms of behavior. So when there are different types of, you know, different levels of functionality, our treatment options therefore are individualized for the child. For example, if a child has high sensory concerns, we take the child for sensory integration. An occupational therapist provides this service. And then if a child has behavior concerns, there's behavior modifications by a psychologist or basic self-help skills, which is taught by a special educator. So we need to create that individualized plan. Asperger's syndrome is simply a milder form of autism and it's also something that's in the spectrum, like I mentioned before. And in Asperger's syndrome, the primary concerns are social interaction and behavior, but language acquisition remains intact. So the child is able to talk, the child is able to communicate, but the child cannot interact with others that adequately.